the majestic state capital of North Carolina, sits on prominent land rich in history. This 1,000 acres was originally part of a local estate that still stands today. This is the Mordecai House, located in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. It was built in 1785, and it's a registered historical landmark. Best of all, it's open to the public. The house is the oldest residence in the city and a prime example of the plantation homes that once dotted the landscape. The house was built for the Lane family, but was eventually occupied by Moses Mordecai, a prominent lawyer who married one of the Lane daughters. As construction of the house grew, it was transformed into a Greek revival mansion. The Mordecais were prominent slave owners. More than 120 slaves lived and worked over time at the 5,000 acre plantation. Up until 1967, the house was owned by descendants of the Mordecai family. The site, now called Mordecai Historical Park, includes several buildings that have been relocated to the property. Along with the mansion, you'll find the house where President Andrew Johnson was born, the Ellen Mordecai Garden, the Badger Irondale Law Office, and St. Mark's Chapel with its original wooden pulpit. As a visitor, you'll get a guided tour inside the house where you'll see the parlor, bedrooms, and the dining room with original period furnishings. The visitor center is where you can pick up tickets, get park information, and check out the exhibit and gift shop. The Mordecai Historical Park is a symbolic reminder of early America. This is Valerie Mason reporting.